everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to the final episode of the 12 Pools of Christmas here on Massey Art Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. Well, why do we look like we're going to go on an episode of Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> well, let me tell you why. It's Christmas Eve. It's time to get out your finest, yes. have some fun, and just be a little bit silly. So that's Absolutely. exactly what we're going to do today. So um, you will have seen Mina Villegas Art and Sarah Mac Art yes. join us in this wonderful collaboration, counting down the last 12 days all the way to this day, Christmas Eve, and our last pour, which is the 12 drums drumming. Yes. We poured yesterday as well, that was the 11 Pipers Piping, which we poured in Sarah's honour. Yeah, we sure did. Thank you, Sarah, for allowing us the chance to do that. We hope everything is well at home. And today's 12 Drummers Drumming. Now, what are we going to do, Show Pony? 12 Drummers Drumming? Mm -hmm. We have 12 drumsticks. Right. That we are going to layer, uh -huh. I should say, or fan out on a canvas. Right and ring pour over that. Okay, and it's a 36 by 36. 36 by 36 it's canvas. It's a huge big canvas. It's massive, it's a big 36 by 36 inch canvas. So um, this one's gonna be fun and we're gonna collaborate on this one together. Yes. So we're gonna pour this one, we're gonna tilt this one, we're gonna do this one together. Um, if you haven't already, please go check out all the previous 11 days. We just wanna take this one moment to say, Happy holidays to you all. Absolutely. To you and your family. Um, we hope that you are safe and sound and healthy and have a really, really great Christmas. Absolutely. To everyone that's been here with us all on these last 12 days watching every single episode, we see you, we know who you are. A lot yeah. of you are part of the Massey Posse. And uh, we just really can't tell you how much we appreciate and thank, and thank you for being here with us. Really looking forward to the rest of this yeah. year and what 2022 has to hold. So again, from both of us here at Matty Art Studio, thank you. We love you guys. Love you guys. So, without much further ado, let's get to the table. Let's get to pouring. Well, actually, let's get to the floor. Yeah, because we're doing it on the floor. Yeah, let's get to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so these are the colors that we are using today. We have Phalo Blue Delish. by Amsterdam. Love it. We have the Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam. Mm-hmm. We have the Permanent Red Violet by Amsterdam. Love it. We have Dioxazine Purple by Goldens. Which you can see right there. Deliciousness. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. We have Iridescent White by Liquitex Basics. Yay! I know, right? It's, it's been, been a while, forever. right? Um, and then we have this. This is Graphite mm -hmm. by Amsterdam. Thank you, thank you. Yes. And then we've got 24 karat gold there too. We got 24 karat gold, and we're also using mix in all of our uh, colors today, which makes them nice and thick and luscious. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want to get your hands on some of this, it is Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Krista8974 at gmail.com. Krista8974 at gmail.com. Love it. All right, so let's get to layering this ginormous cup that we have here. We're going to pour out of one big cup. Yes. Show Pony wants to go big for this last, the 12th yes. pour of Christmas, 12 pipes, 12 drummers drumming. Now we've got a 36 by 36 inch canvas. Yes. How much paint do you need? Um, roughly about 50 ounces of paint. Okay, and that bucket will go up to, I think about 70. So, yeah, I think you, so, know, right? you know, you'll be able to see how much you're layering on this one. Yeah, yeah, it goes up to 70, yeah. Okay. All right, that's a lot of paint. It is. <laughs> Let's do All it. Right. So, how would you would you like to start us out? What color do you think we should start out with? I would start out with a little bit of that delicious dioxazine purple in the bottom. Okay. All right. Now we're not going to do tiny, tiny layers. Are you going to pour it down the side of the jug? No. Well, okay. this is the first color, and so I can pour it wherever I'd like. Okay, got it. You're not dirty pouring though, right? No. Okay. That's probably enough. Okay. Love it. And then the next color I'd like you to go in with is gold but clearly not as much as you just did with the dioxazine because we all know what happens with gold. But this is a huge pour, so that's perfect, sir. Yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, now I would go in with the phalo and then just mix in between light and darks. So you can just freestyle it now. Nice. Now we're doing healthy, healthy layers of color here because we need 50 ounces of paint. Could you go in with the light blue next? Thank you. That would be lovely. Light and darks. 
do this. I love that. And if you could go in with some of the graphite. Okay, start. I think that graphite might still be a little bossy in there. Now either gold or white, up to you. And then go in with the, the pink. Love it. Would you put a little bit of white next to that for me? Just a little, just a squidge. Perfect. Now go in with that magenta. No, it's not magenta, is it? No, it's permanent red violet. That's right, but permanent red violet, red violet light. This can get really bossy, so I'm being careful with okay. it. Okay. Back to the dioxazine. Dioxazine, please. Great. Next, will you put that right next to that sky light blue for me? Yeah. We're not going to do the same layers. No, I wasn't looking at that. Ah, oh, you've seen how much was in there. I was seeing how much further we have to go. Are, are we halfway there yet? Nope. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of pain. Yeah. Blue. White. You could do a little bit of a thicker layer this time. Yeah, perfect. Love it. What do you want to do next? No. We did that one already. Um, some graphite. Okay. Next to that white might turn it down a little bit. All right. Okay. Throw a little bit of gold on the other side of the graphite. Isolating the graphite there from the other colours. Love it. Yeah. Yes. I think next to the gold, that's going to look pretty. Yeah, I think so too. What about some of this next to that purple? Yeah. I mean, this purple next to that pink will look really pretty. I like that a lot. Then maybe going with some white. A little bit. Just... And the light blue again. Sky. Yeah. Light sky blue. Ooh, it looks so pretty in there, Jeremy. And the phalo. I think we should go to like 60, if we can get there. We are at... 40, is it? 45 going on. Okay. Like, we're like halfway right. to 50. Okay. A bit of gold? I'd like to see that graphite actually next to that dark blue as well. So put the graphite in next. And then I like what you did last time and isolated that with a bit of the white. And then let's go back in with that permanent red violet light again. Seems like a while since she used it. It's almost like bubble gum. It is. I love that. All right, we have 50. We have 55 ounces of paint. All right, let's go to 60. Okay, so what should I do next? Uh, either the blue or the, yeah, perfect. Well, there's no more of this. Okay, let's go in with the dioxazine then. Okay. And the light blue. And then finish off with a little bit of white, maybe. I say put a little bit of white. Well, no, you got white right there. It's going to be interesting to see you ring pour out of this. It's going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. 
Crazy Georges. Okay. I think you're done. I'm done. Okay. I love yeah, it. I'm at 60. I like that a lot. 60 ounces of paint. <laughs> All right, ladles and jelly spoons. Holy moly, I sir. Know. We've never used 60 ounces of paint in one jug before. I know. So this is going to be really interesting. I feel like when you start to pour the paint on this wonderful 36 by 36 inch canvas, which we have laid down 12 drumsticks to represent the 12 right. drummers drumming, I feel like they might move. But if they do move, Jeremy, do not fret about it. Okay. The plan here, folks, is that Jeremy is going to ring pour. It's a wandering ring pour, starting in the center, moving all the way out to the edges. Yeah. Ring pouring out of that big book, it's gonna to be tough. It is gonna be do tough. Do you just remember to keep that ring yeah. in motion and um, otherwise it'll end into a wandering straight pour. Yes. And then once he's poured it onto the canvas, we're gonna remove the drumsticks and then we'll get to dropped in time. Yes. And we will tilt this one out together. Yeah. Now, can I ask you, do you want gloves or do you want me to take that ring off you? Uh, gloves, please. Okay. So, here we have it. Let's yes. get to ring pouring this one across the 12 drumsticks for our 12 drummers drumming. Yes. All right, show pony, go for it. Fantastic. Wow. Ooh. I thought those drumsticks were gonna start like shifting as I you know. as you pour this one out, but they did not at all. They didn't. Um, okay, so now we wanna remove the drumsticks in order to be able to tilt the canvas. Right. Um, and we're just gonna lay the drumsticks out along the back here on top of the plastic in order to allow them to dry. Yes. So let's start removing the drumsticks. That's kind of cool. All right, so in this bucket, we have leftover paints. So these are all leftovers. It's all sorts of colors in here, probably like 20 or 30 different colors, but this is gonna act as our flow extender. So we're gonna get this one next onto the canvas. All right, ladles and jelly spoons. All right. So we've got 60 ounces of paint in color. We've probably got about another 30 ounces of paint on top of the canvas. So there's a lot of paint on here. A lot of paint. We should be able to stretch this one out, no problem. Show Pony and I are going to stretch this one out together. Yes. We're gonna collaborate on the tilting, but it is now. Tilting time. 12 drummers drumming, 36 by 36 inch canvas, tilting time.
So there you have it, folks. There you have it. There you have it. What do you think, Show Pony? I thought it was awesome. Like, I thought it was such a great experience, like, pouring over those those uh, drumsticks. Right. Um, doing that ring pour over it. Right. Like, I just thought it came out so cool. The drumsticks are drying nicely. We're not quite yes. sure what we're going to do with those 12 drumsticks yet, but we will let you know. And the pour itself is drying really nicely. Yeah. It, it's a big bad boy, so it's it going to take a little while to dry. Yeah. But it, I, I really enjoyed it, too. I always love pouring with you and, like, tilting together. We, despite... Um, our difference of opinion sometimes in, in how we do our own pours. We, we always pour really well. We collaborate really well we together. Do. I do. I, yeah. I believe that too. We kind of tilt really yeah. well, which was really fun. So thank you. Well, thank and you. And I wanted to say happy holidays to you, Well, husband. happy holidays to you too. And you look very handsome in you your glittery. You look great dapper also. Oh, thank I you. like what you're thank wearing. Thank you. Get a room. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. So thank you very much for being here with us. Um, we're sorry that we can't be with you all the way through this episode. We're actually at our family dinner right now yes. for Christmas Eve. But I know that Sarah and Mina and maybe even Kathleen and maybe Cheryl, they'll all be here taking care of you and the Massey Posse too. Yes. So thank you so much for watching this premiere, the last of our 12 pours. Now to tomorrow. Tomorrow is Christmas Day and you've got tons of things to do, but hopefully one of them will be to tune into Discovery Plus yes. and watch Meet Your Maker Showdown. I'm going to be on it, pouring some fluid art for you all. I'm very nervous, very scared about how this is all going to go, but please tune into the channel. And then on this channel, on the YouTube channel, we're going to have a very special Meet Your Makers Showdown episode sponsored yes. by Deco Art. Sponsored by Deco Art. So thank you so much for uh, coming watching that, if you can make it. All right, guys, enjoy your Christmas Eve. Yes. Thank you so much for being here again. I think we... I think we need to go spank the Patreons. We need to go spank the Patreons. Let's go spank the Patreons. <laughs> now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage. Lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massey Art Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the Platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the Platinum Patreons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our Gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepperson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... Hey, you all know her, lover. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles. <laughs> Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studios. Absolutely. Thank you, guys.